A warm welcome to Africa Social TV. My name is Dennis the Business. We do nothing but to give you the updates on the go. You all know it's Africa. I mean, World Cup uh, 2018 in Russia down in Moscow. Now, there's certain news that I find online, but I can't help it. But just to give it to you, I know people are so big. Nigeria lost to Croatia, and it was a 2 0 right there in their first game. But hey, Nigerians are not about to give up. But hey, I have to give you obviously five things we learned from this loss we all know for everything that happens in our lives we do learn from it because the game still has to continue the tournament still has to continue now straight up with the players right here we will start with a one uh shehu abdelahi what we learn from shehu abdelahi now super egos boss genoa surprised many when he included shehu in his starting 11 for the game against croatia shehu was poor in super egos last two friendly games ahead of the world cup while tyron showed to be a better option at the right back now people what people are saying here it was a debatable league uh, or a debatable decision for the nigerian coach to choose shehu against tyron now in the first half he was easily beaten as he struggled to cope with the pace of the game now in his two years as super eagles boss he has consistently picked his trusted men and that has ultimately become one of his weaknesses now let's go to the second player here that people didn't expect he's a teenage player his name is francis uzo and he's the goal is the goalkeeper for the super eagles now Pep Guardiola's first act in Manchester City's boss in 2016 was to get rid of club legendary goalkeeper Joe Hart for Claudio Bravo. He let us splash the huge uh, cash for Elderson, but initially it was regarded just as one of Guardiola's complexities and obsessions. But Manchester City success in the just concluded season has shown that goalkeepers can do even more. Now, the goalkeeper for Super Eagles has not done badly in his primary job, although he remains a suspect for this loss. But as it has become important for the goalkeepers to contribute to attack and pass well from the back, the Nigerian goalkeeper has not been updated at all. Now against Croatia, none of the goalkeeper's clearance or the goal kicks have even or even the passes, I beg your pardon, go to team the teammates. Instead, he shoots just anywhere just like that. But you all know he's a kind of a, a teenage goalkeeper. He could be inexperienced, but he's aggressive for the game. Now, the other player that people are doubting about here is the experienced Obi Mikel. They say he needs to be sacrificed for the loss of Croatia. Now, Mikel started on the base of Nigeria's three-man midfield, operating just behind Odion Igalo, who was flanked by Victor Moses and uh, Alex Yobi, uh, respectively. But the Super Eagles captain had a poor day without offering that much. For the majority of the game, Mikel didn't get close to Igalo, leaving Nigeria's number nine on his own up front. He rarely even got to the opposition's box. For the two remaining group games, Mikel must be sacrificed, and the coach of Nigeria, that is a Genoa Ro, has to have the balls to do it. Yobi is clearly the most creative player in the team and should be given the freedom to roam. And that much, you know, he has to be a little bit so rested. Now, let's get to the set piece here that they used uh the set piece a huge worry for the super eagles we are talking five things we learned from the loss of nigeria uh, against croatia now this is the fourth one the set piece is a huge worry for the super eagles uh for the third consecutive game the super eagles have considered a goal from a set piece and this is now a huge worry for general Raw, the coach over uh, uh nigeria in the 2-0 loss to serbia in march if you guys do remember uh the subs got chances of all they are corners. The goal came from a corner with Rebic jumping the highest to get the first ball before Mario. You all see this one, how it came about. And this is what it led to. You can see the goalkeeper right there uh, with all, uh, eye contact, obviously, with the ball. But look at what happened. It was at the back of the net. Let's get to the opening fixture ahead of the Super Eagles again. Now, the Super Eagles... As we can see right here, is uh, we have uh, they have now failed to win the opening game of the World Cup in their last four appearances. The last time the Super Eagles won their first game of the World Cup campaign was just 20 years ago in France, 1998. Their 2-0 loss to Croatia is also the first time Nigeria are losing to a European side in the opening game of the World Cup. Now, their two wins in the opening day of the World Cup campaign 
have been against European opposition, but no luck this time. This was Croatia's first win in an opening game of the World Cup campaign in just two years. Now, looks like looks like the Nigerian fans don't even give a hoot about what happened in yesterday's game. All they are doing, they are trying to contemplate about the loss and putting the blame, obviously, onto the coach. We all expect those things to do happen anywhere and anyhow in a match, however much you do trust your players. But one thing for sure, don't you get even more contemplating. Just keep supporting the Super Eagles because the tournament still has to continue. At least, you all know Super Eagles has the Fashion World Cup already. Uh, at least, if you don't look at them play, look at the Jose. You may have to like it. My name is Dennis The Business. Click subscribe to Africa Social TV for the updates on the go. I'll be right back to give you those viral uh, photos that took place or that surfaced in social media during and after the game of Nigeria versus Croatia. Thanks for watching.